Yeah. You follow horoscopes like that? Let me hear it. Don't do it like I don't know nothing Gemini. about that. What's your sign? Gemini. You know what's really crazy? What? Aquarius and Gemini go together real good. I felt it right when I walked the in the splendor. Right? I felt Damn. it right away. I thought I'd do it. Meg, how are you? I'm good, how you doing? I'm great, how are you? You had meetings today, is that what was yeah, going on? Yeah, I had hella meetings. How do you like New York? I actually really love New York. Today is like the best weather day that it's I've the had nicest since day I've been here. Of, yes, yeah, like, this is the nicest cool. day that we've had so far. See, they knew the hot girl was coming outside, yeah. so they had to heat it up a little bit. We're inching closer and closer, and the only person responsible for this warm weather could be you. That's what I said. I didn't know if people was gonna believe me, but nah, you know. Just know, we're, we're in tune. <laughs> on my way here, I saw Meg Thee Stallion plastered all over Times Square. Oh yeah. Which is the capital of New York, which is one of the most important cities in the world. What does that mean to see your, have you seen it yet? Yeah, I went and played around in Times Square last night with my friends and we were just like, dude, do you see that shit? Like it was crazy. <laughs> just being from Texas and coming to New York and be able, being able to see myself. Hell yeah. On these fucking billboards, I was like, oh my God. Are you a person who frequents New York like prior to music or had you just no, come from the like, first time? I think I might've been like 20, 23. So 23 years into your life and you didn't come to New York yet? Never. That's disappointing. I mean, I'm here now. I know. I know. <laughs> what was it like the first time? Did you imagine it to be like movies? Like what was it like the first I time? I wanted it to be just like every movie that I had ever saw. Uh, and it was. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was like, where the babies at? Like, where the dogs? The babies? Oh, no. Nah, like, nah. I was like, I don't see babies or dogs running around here. But maybe it's because of where I was. I don't know. Have you noticed that people walk people fast? People walk so fast in New York. And I'm like, how do y'all all know how to walk on beat without bumping into each other? It's something that when you're born in the boroughs, it's like... I'm telling you, y'all just really got it on lock. And then y'all driving? It's, cra it's hectic. Crazy. But and I see... I I've never seen a wreck out here, but y'all get this close to each other. Oh, it's impressive how close people can get to each other without crashing. That would really piss me off. I would never drive in New York. Are you a good driver? I am a great driver. How often do you drive? I haven't drove in a long time. Okay, so are <laughs> you still a good... See, look at my man's right here. My man is on a bike. He's just away on a city bike. And he just weaving through traffic. I think uh, most New Yorkers have an inch of hope in them that if they do get hit by a car it's and like survive they want you to hit them. yeah because once you get hit i mean it's like the college student dream you get hit by a car on campus or near campus then you sue and become rich and then wow is that what's going on yes so y'all a little bit like a little bit uh -oh. well no not the drivers like the walker though so people just walk right in the Please, middle of the street like just hit me, Please, hit me go ahead especially if it's would. a foreign like a <laughs> like a porsche or something go yeah. ahead and hit me Break, break, a, break leg, a leg, and then I'm Gucci. <laughs> I'm good. What was growing up in Houston like for you? Um, I mean, growing up in Houston is honestly pretty lit. Um, I just feel like the South is lit in general. It's very family oriented. Maybe because my grandmothers like lived, like literally I could walk to my grandma's house from my other grandma's house. Okay. And then I could literally walk to my school too. Okay. So, so you was just walking all around? No, no, no. <laughs> I could walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> you had the a, option to I walk. I had the option to walk. But no, there were, there, there were times I had to walk to school, but literally all my friends from school would already be at school and then they would all come walk to my grandma's house to pick me up. Okay. And then will walk back to school but they were like way more mature because they weren't as sheltered as i was mm. like my mama would be like hell no you ain't doing that i had a time to come in the house okay what was the that curfew? was earlier than everybody else what else's. was your curfew do you remember no but all i know was i had to come in way earlier than everybody <laughs> else and it wasn't fair but um yeah, but they were like super, they were way more mature than me. Okay. Because <laughs> they, they could literally, I feel like they could do whatever the hell they wanted to do. But maybe, maybe it wasn't that. This, that's how I felt at the time. So I brought that with me to my adult life. <laughs> Word. When, we all know how you got the moniker Meg Thee Stallion, but when did you become Meg Thee Stallion? Like, when did that happen? Probably like in the ninth grade. Oh, so early in high school then? Yeah, I've always been, my, my all my social media has always been a stallion. The stallion, two E's. The why two Why two E's? Because I'm the stallion. Like the, I'm the, the one, one and like, only. I don't care about the, no, y'all. You're not sure about yourself. Right, right, right. The, I know I'm this. <laughs> okay, the stallion. Mm -hmm. Take me back to the time when you're on the rooftop <laughs> of the Art Institute, rapping over 4 p.m. in Calabasas beat. Uh, so, I was friends with this dude, and he's like, Megan, come on, let's go do this cypher. And I was not taking him seriously. But I don't know what in my body was just like, okay, fuck it, let's go let's do go it. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. 
And he, he's the one who really like just set it all up. And when I got there, it was all boys. And it was it was, it was was one girl, and I had on some booty shorts and a crop top. And the boys, they didn't even know what I was about to come do. They didn't know what I was about to say. And I got out there and I was like, yeah. And everybody was like, oh shit. <laughs> and then after that, it just went crazy. That was like the first showing of Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, it really was. And it now was we're great. in the Sprinter van in New York with Megan Thee Stallion billboards in Times Square. Right, what the fuck? That's really crazy. It's lit. All right, we just pulled up to Chick-fil-A. Time to try <laughs> these cookies, I think. My son! <laughs> Special <laughs> guest. Megan wants a sweet tea instead of a lemonade. Uh, Don't fuck this up. Don't. Damn, fuck where to put the pressure on? Goodness. <laughs> you got to let people know. Where is, it? is it like a wide known thing that people people don't like Aquarius or something? I don't know that. That's what I said. Okay. You follow horoscopes like that? I don't know nothing about that. What's your sign? Gemini. You know what's really crazy? What? Aquarius and Gemini go together real good. I felt it right when I walked the in the splendor. Right? I felt Damn. it right away. I thought I did. Most people react negatively. I'd be like, Gemini, they'd be like, oh, he won it all. Gemini, Gemini. Yeah. Bye. See, that's what they always do. Yeah. Oh, Gemini you too. Men got people to don't like Gemini. Yeah, what is wrong girls. with Gemini? I think because Aquarius, they all about Pokemon. Y'all liars. Who's Are you a liar? getting that from me right now? Are you I don't getting really it? Know you, so I'm, I'm getting it. This is the Jekyll. This is the, you know, it's Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. So this is the nice, calm side. I don't know how you are when you date me. Megan, we just had a quick lunch break. Everybody got fed Chick Fil A except for me. Um, but we nonetheless, got some? You want some? no, it's too oh, late to offer damn. me now. Oh, but I now was not it's all good. I'm not hungry. Uh, but we're about to go shopping at Coach. Yeah. Uh, one person amongst all of us seems the most excited. Are I'm you about to friend. cash out? I'm about to. She told me to run it up. Run it up, then, sis. Go ahead. All right, we she out. Go crazy. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, Meg, so obviously we made a stop here at the Coach store. You wanted to do a, a little shopping? Is that what's going on in there? Uh, yeah, like I love Coach and we have like partnered on a lot of things before. So I just wanted to come pop in right quick. And my best friend like randomly loves Coach too. So I was like, fuck it, we just dropped sugar. Let's go buy some stuff. <laughs> All right, so you just dropped sugar. It was supposed to be an album, but now it's an EP. It's an EP um, because I was in the middle of recording my album and we had to come to an abrupt halt. <laughs> but yeah, we um, we got through it and now Sugar's out. What has this situation kind of taught you moving forward? Like how to change the way you do business? Um, I mean, it's just taught me to just be smarter into everything that I'm walking into and just be smarter on my own behalf. So just moving forward with everything, like I'm gonna know, I'm gonna be more involved in my business. For sure, now mm -hmm. when can we expect the album then if this was just the EP? Um, I wanted to put out an album originally like in May. Like I wanted to drop an album on my mom's birthday, which is May 2nd. But um, it's I'm- It's kinda soon. It is. So, uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm traveling every day. I'm like catching new vibes, going through new experiences. So now I have like a lot more to talk about. So I don't know when I'll, you know, come out with it. Okay. Late summer, maybe? Maybe late summer. Okay. Like, Cause I have a lot of music, so. Uh, you are most known as the hot girl coach. Yes. Um, I feel like at this time, in our in our society, you know, it's 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 uh, very gender fluid, mm -hmm. you know. So they're not just hot girls, but there's also hot boys. Hell yeah. It can apply both ways. How does one like myself adapt the hot girl lifestyle? Like, what is, what do I have to do? Um, all you have to do is just be super positive, and you gotta spread that positivity, and you gotta know that you the shit, and own that you the shit, and not give a fuck what nobody else think about it. So you just gotta do you and be unapologetic about it. Okay. See, I like how you kind of welcomed the idea of having men 
you know. I never said men could well, be down in the camp. Well, you sparked a whole battle between no, no, men my, and women. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You the did, boys, y'all brought up the battle and like hot, having a hot girl summer, that was like for the women to just be like, fuck it, we out here. It's summertime, <laughs> we outside. But the boys came in and was like, you know what? We you all had here people too. beefing. I ain't gonna lie, you had that's people crazy. beefing. That's crazy. They, that's something they did. <laughs> okay, so uh, obviously you're still in school. Mm -hmm. You wore it on the shoes. You got some homework to do today. I, uh, I do. Is it like annoying to have to break in between days and like go back I mean, on Blackboard and? It's really crazy because it'll be like, okay, Megan, you have to be somewhere at seven o'clock, and then you also have homework due at eleven fifty nine. So it's like. Well, shit, what do I do first? Do I try to hurry up and do the homework or do I wait till I get done with my event at seven and then try to get back home at like 10 and then I only got like an hour to do this? So, I mean, we'll just see how we get through it today. Why don't you just pay a little young smart person to just do it for because you? Because then I'm not gonna know shit. I mean, okay, that is fair. Yeah. Do you miss the campus life at all? I really do miss campus life because sometimes when I would go to school, like, in class, the teacher might not be feeling it that day, mm -hmm. so it ain't like we sat in there the whole class time. Right, the pressure's off. They might say, "All right, you guys can leave halfway." Leave. Right, and right. we might not get homework that day, and we really get in the grade because we can. Right, but online, it's, no, like you got homework all the time, and you got quizzes all the time, and tests all the time, and you can't miss none of it, or you fail. So that's the only thing I miss about going. You don't on miss campus. anything about the social aspect. I mean, I miss my friends, but I see them. Before I let you go, you said something very important that uh, was said when the cameras were not rolling. We were talking about Chick-fil-A sauce. You like oh, to yeah. eat multiple sauces. Yes. And you said something about men swear they have the sauce. Yeah, I swear y'all just love sauce and be dripping all this sauce, but you was really like, no, that's nasty to dip your food in all the sauces. You were dipping three sauces for one bite. That's disgusting. No, that's like, <laughs> that's the flavor. <laughs> So one, tell me one more time, man. What, what was the line? Y'all swear y'all got the sauce until it's actually time to have the sauce. Mm. Yeah. That sounds like a proverb to me. <laughs> well, Meg, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your homework. You have a busy night because after yeah. you do homework, you also have a party tonight. It is a hottie party tonight. What can All people the expect from the NYC hottie party? Hotties is popping out. Oh, you gonna see? Okay. It's a whole lot of real hot girl shit. So, just brace yourself. <laughs>